Hey there, DJ Jazzy Taco Hat, the Ayatollah Rock and Roll, the King of Swing, coming at you from the YouTubes. I'm going to teach you how to do some coding, which is going to make music, which is both fresh and dope. And we're going to learn a bunch of programming stuff, most importantly, which is funky. All right. Let's show you how to do this. Now, uh, you know how to get to the music, but another way you can do it is just click up here on New Project. You can click on New Project from wherever you're at and just click on Music Lab here. And that takes you to here. Now, if you haven't been to the training yet, go through all of these bubbles, but I think you all have by the time you're looking at this video. So just go here and say, Skip to Project. Let's say, Skip to Project. And then what I want you to use is one of these samples of people's work. Now, um, you're not recreating what they do. You're just going to be able to be inspired by what they do. What I want you to think about right here is if there's some artist that you know your parent wouldn't like you to um, listen to, then don't choose them. Don't get yourself in trouble for Pete's sake. I can assure you, though, that there's nothing um, uh, problematic about any of the lyrics that are included in any of their works here that's got put on code.org. But once again, if your parents don't like it, then uh, don't, don't do it. So I'm going to jump in here to uh, Will I Am because I indeed do like to move it, move it. So I'm going to click on old Will I Am there and click on continue. There we go. And we get our blank slate. You're used to this. Now, the first thing I want to work on is I want to get a back beat. Okay. I want to get that, uh, uh, the beat that's going to be continuing on through the entire song virtually. And um, let's just jump right into it here. Uh, I want to do the drums. If you click right here, then you can see that you can set the drums. And I'm just going to go for, let's go for snare. Like that. You know, maybe I'll go like, like this instead. There we go. And let's listen to it. There we go. That's pretty great. And I want to get, uh, I want to get just a little bit of hi-hat. And the hi-hat is that ch the thing the drummer uses, ch and those things open or close, right? And so let's do a that, a that, and a that, and a that, just to see if that is funky dope. Hmm. I don't like that, the way that sounds. I'm gonna go back to just one drum sound. Let me see. There we go. I like the sound of that. So there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now I've got that. Um, Let's just listen to it once. Mm -hmm. But I want another sound to play in here. Maybe something a little, um, uh, just give it some some uh, vocals. That's the complicated word I'm trying to come up with, vocals. So let's go ahead and play right here. And I know that Move It is in there, and that's a short one. Here we go. Move it, move it, move it. You see that it is um, it is playing the beat and then playing the sound. So here's the difference between parallel and serial. You're going to hear that in not serial, something in a series. Okay, um, a bunch of people in line, one solid line. That's serial. Okay, that is where everyone is is serviced one at a time because they're all lined up. First guy, this, then this guy, this guy. Parallel is a bunch of people rushing up all at once, all right? The great thing about a computer is you can set things to run at parallel, which means it's going to run faster. Everything that happens in a computer, there's a bunch of stuff happening in parallel. And the way that computers do that is they have more than one processor. They have more than one thing that can take care of instructions at a time. And so it's as if you have, at a bank, if you have five people um, uh, servicing customers, as soon as one person serving customers, you're going to go faster. But let's talk about the example of serial and parallel. If you and your class were gonna make some stew with me, and if I was the chef, I would say, okay, you go cut vegetables, you go cut the potatoes, you go cut the meat, and you go bring a, a water to boil. Now, the people that are cutting up, they can just do it at whatever speed they want to because they don't depend on each other. But when it comes to putting all those ingredients in the boiling water, the boiling water must be done before you put things in there. When you're making soup, you can't put stuff in the water before it boils. So in parallel, it would be, you all go cut things up. But the serial instruction would be, with an S-E-R-I, 
A L E L. I don't know. I'm not a very good speller. Um, the cereal instruction would be don't first. All those people have to wait for the water to boil before they can do anything. So I want this to be at the same time as this. And they gave us a pretty cool instruction here to do that, which is right here, play together, which means parallel. And now if I put that there, watch, there's that, and it's like that. But if I put that there, bonk, now they're together. Move it, move it, move it, move it. I like that. But you know what? I want to have, I want to have the, uh, the move it, move it on, let's, First of all, let's repeat this, just to show you what, I'm, what I have in my mind, right? You probably have already imagined what I'm doing here. So find the repeat, pop it up here. We'll just put it on repeat three and put this in there. And now you can see it's gonna do it three times. It's too many move it's. They need to settle down with that. So I wanna first do the drums and then I want to do the move it, move it. Okay, so how can I do that? Well, that's pretty easy. I grab a play sequential. I right click and duplicate this and pop this into here. And I put that into there. And then I put this into here. Look, you see it's gonna do the drums sequentially. This, then this. Okay, but it's gonna play these things together. And now I'm liking that dope beat that I'm laying down the tracks for. Let's put that to two so I don't waste so much of your time. Right? Now, if I wanted to move it to be first, I could just take this out and reverse them. Right? But I think I kind of like the sound of bring the audience in first, get them excited, and all of a sudden here comes the move it, move it, move it, move it. Because once again, I do indeed like to move it, move it. So there's my, uh, uh, there's kind of my backbeat. I am going to call this a function. Now, what does that let you do? Remember, a function is something, it's a chunk of code that you can refer to many times. And if you change it, you only need to change it one place, right? So I'm going to make a function, my function. I'm going to put it right over here. I'm going to pop this in here and I'm going to call this uh, backbeat. And now I can just grab backbeat and plop it in here and look. See, there's my beat. And it's hanging out here. I can refer to it whenever I want to and change it in one place. And we'll see how that gets to be pretty, pretty useful later on. But I want an intro, all right? I don't want to just come right to my beat. I want to really just pop, bang, right? I want to get the drop going. I don't know the words I'm, I'm saying, if they're accurate. Am I Riz? I, I, I don't even know what that means. You can let me know later on. Email me. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how riz I am. And I didn't speak incorrectly. I, I just don't know. So let's get a, uh, let's get an intro. And I think I want the intro to be, let's see, let's go over here to uh, bass. Yeah, I want the bass and there's bass synth. Let's hear it. Oh, I love it. So there's my, uh, there's my intro. I'm going to call that intro, my function, intro. I'm going to pop that in there, and then I'm going to grab intro and put it here. Doesn't it feel like that needs to keep on going one more beat? How are we going to do that? Well, I am going to say play together intro. Once again, this is why we, oh, that was supposed to be duplicate paste, copy paste. That works. This is why we use functions is because I can do things like this. Duplicate. Now look, I'm going to, I'm going to take this intro out. I don't want this one. Put that up there. Go up here. And then... <laughs> I want two of those though. So that's why I had that extra backbeat, I forgot. This backbeat goes here. Now let's listen. What happened? Oh, backbeat, not backbeat, intro. This is supposed to be intro. Duplicate my intro. There we go. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to not dance to my dope hit. So there's, I got it, once again, I got kind of a cool sound there. I got my intro, I got my backbeat, all right. But now, I want that, I want to really hit him. We all know what's coming up is that big move it thing. I want to really drop that in there at the end of my beat. This is probably repeating too many times. Let's put that back to two. And um, shortens it up there. And now I'm going to have a new function called, uh, just, I'm going to call this a move it, because that's that big vocal, we like to move it, move it thing. You know, you know what's coming. And uh, go up here, play, I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna find the vocals, there it is. That is, I'm pretty sure I know that this is, I think it's chorus one. That's, I like the mow and move yeah, it. I like the that's move the one. Okay, and let's grab it from here. You see him grab, once you create a function, it's right in here in functions. Let's listen to it. <laughs> Wow. All right. That's pretty cool. Now, let me show you what this thing can do uh, with being able to be like a, a DJ and really mix in your own sounds. This is what I want you to do, and you will do it as part of the assignment. If you go up here to, it says one triggered at next measure. One just means if I hit the one button. See how that popped up? And I want to say that whenever I press the one, where'd my intro go? Hey, there it is. I want to play my intro. And then let's duplicate this. Two. And I want that's when I want to play backbeat. So let's just duplicate it here and grab it and bring it over. It's just so much easier to do this. And then the last one is what we end with, which is move it, move it. So for that, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm gonna call this one four because I know that I'm gonna create a three for you all. So I'm gonna jump right to four. You can see we have one, two, four. And that's where I'm gonna put the move it. So why did we do that? Because after I play my song, and let's just repeat this. I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Now, I can hit one, two, or four and play any of those songs whenever I want to, or, or, or samples whenever I want to. Right here, I'm gonna drop in a, that. And I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna put a one and a two in. One and a two in. I'm gonna put a one and a four in. Oh, three. Was for. There we go. Now, I want to get a backbeat that has a little more to it. So let's move this over here. And I'm going to create a whole new function. And I'm going to call that function, I'm going to call it big backbeat. Big backbeat. Okay. And what it's going to be is I'm going to just put in backbeat. So, and it's going to play together though. Play together. Just backbeat but I'm gonna layer something on top of it. Duplicate, put that there. But what am I layering on top of it? Uh, I think I want a little bit of uh, like, a, like a bass guitar. Let's get that in here. Play right there, uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna go to bass. And uh, how's this sound? Down here more. Let's see. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to kind of feel around and find the things that sound pretty cool. But I'm gonna go back up here and just get there. You go. That's good enough. And put this over here. And I need a three, so I'm gonna duplicate that. Bring it up here. Put that as a three. And then I'm gonna say big backbeat here. Now, I can add in a big backbeat when I want to, and it'll sound a little bit different. 
Here we go. So here I can do this backbeat. And I can do this one. See? That's a little bit of a different sound. Um, and if I want to change, so I want, since I want big backbeat to be uh, layered on top of backbeat, now I can, whoops, what happened there? I made a mistake. Uh, uh, I'm getting it up. I don't know what that was. So now if I change one thing, it's going to change for both places. That's what's cool about functions. So let's change this, move it, to something else that is just one. Let's see, is there another one? Hmm, there isn't. Um, let's see. What's another one thing here? Here we go. Let's just grab this. There we go, that sound. And now... And even if I, there's this one again. Okay, but now if I hit a three, I'm gonna keep on getting that. See, and it, I change it in one place, and I know that everywhere I do it, I'll get that new, whether it's one or two. Okay, that's what you do there. Let me talk a little bit about measures and beats. A measure is a collection of beat. The beat we know. Boom, boom, ba -da, boom, boom, ba -da, boom. Usually in music, I think uh, the the beat, or I should say a measure, is comprised of four beats. Usually, I don't know, that's probably not a, fa a hard rule, but I think it's a common one. And so if you go in here, you're gonna see there's the beats and there's the measures. Is that five? Well, I think I just proved myself wrong, because that's five. Um, no, no, it's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, so you can see here the beats. There's one, two, three, four beats, and each one of those make, comes a measure. At next measure, at next beat changes when I hit the button where it goes in. Now the most, I think, harmoniously aesthetic is at the next measure. At the next beat is not bad. If I do this, you'll see now when I bring it, it'll bring it in even the next beat. See, it'll put it right in the middle, watch. See, right in the middle. But if I put this at next measure, it'll always pop it in the next measure at the next line. So let's get here. And now I'm gonna tap a one. See, it jumped it all the way over here. Jumped it all the way over to the next measure, okay? And there's immediately. Immediately is hard because then it's not necessarily gonna stay on beat. If you say immediately, you gotta really have a, a good ear. You can play with that. Make sure you name your project, rename. I'm gonna call this uh, Move It Funky Dope. Save. Keep on playing with it, share it when you're done, and we'll take you from there. Have fun, and be dope above all else.